Hey, what's up? This is Kenny Cameron. If you're looking to learn about the early Russian-made Helios 44 58mm f2.0, then stick around. If you like this video, please do me the favor and click the like and subscribe button down below. If you're a photographer, you may know that there's a cult following around these Helios 44 lenses. This lens started being manufactured in the early 1950s in the USSR, and basically it was a direct copy of the Zeiss Biotar lenses. Several companies made these lenses over the years, and they're not exactly rare, which means they're quite common and inexpensive. The Helios 44 and 44-2 has manual aperture with dual aperture rings. This is definitely a system that I like. The reason for having this lens is because it creates, in my opinion, what I think is literally the best swirly bokeh effect. This swirly bokeh effect looks unusual and it adds an additional accent to your subject in the middle of your images. I personally like to shoot on these lenses because of its swirly bokeh that you can't recreate in post, and it's low contrast. And again, in my opinion, I think this is the perfect portrait lens because it's lack of sharpness and it hides skin imperfections. With the trend of modern cameras being so crisp and clear and the lenses being the same way, the Helios 44 lenses give you a vintage look to your modern cameras. So let me show you the two Helios lenses that I personally own and use. The first one is the early Russian-made Helios 44 58mm f2.0. It has kind of an Irish hue in the lens and it's in silver. This lens has 13 aperture blades. For those of you that don't know and are looking to buy one of these lenses, the 13 aperture blades is what actually creates the swirly bokeh effect. The more blades, the better the swirl. I bought my Helios lens from my good friend Alex Helios on Instagram. That is at A-L-E-X underscore H-E-L-I-O-S. Tell him that you saw this Kenny camera review and he'll totally hook you up. I bought this lens for about $110. The one thing that I like about Alex is that he was definitely up front and his shipping was super quick. So I think he's a total reliable source and when you're trying to find these lenses, it's kind of hard to find someone that is truthful and honest about what they're selling you. The other lens that I own is the Helios 44-2 and it is also a 58mm f2.0. This one though has 8 aperture blades. As I said before, the less blades, the less swirl. So this 8 aperture blade system definitely creates a swirly bokeh but it's not as dramatic as the early Helios 44. I bought this lens on eBay and I, it was the first lens that I bought out of my collection and sure enough it went okay. I did definitely have to research a little bit and find the right type of person that was going to sell me this thing, but I did buy it for about $70. Both of these lenses are made with the Leica M mount, so I needed to buy an M mount adapter for my Sony A7R4. When using these lenses in a modern camera, you're going to find that the lens is manual focus and you need to control the aperture from the front of the lens. You can control this by grabbing the front of the ring on the lens and twisting it left or right. All the way to the left is f16 and all the way to the right is all the way open at f2. The only challenges with this lens is eyeballing the manual focus to make sure that your images are actually in focus. On my Sony a7R4 there's something called focus assistant and what that does is that when I'm twisting the ring on the front of this lens you're going to see on the actual screen in the back what is in focus and what is out of focus. And in my case red is in focus and anything without red is out of focus. So the only other purchases I had to make to make this work with my modern day Sony camera is that I had to buy a step up ring and an adapter in order to make this fit onto the front of my camera. So basically I need to buy a step up ring for the M39 mount on this Helios 44 and bring it up to an M42 adapter. And I bought these little rings for $5 on eBay for two. So when your rings are on your lens, so then you have to connect it to an M42 adapter. And I bought that off of B&H and it's for a Sony camera and I bought that for $12.95. If you're looking to buy these items, I definitely put the links down in the description of this video. So here are the differences between the M44 and the M44-2 Helios lenses. So the original Russian-made Helios 44 lens is almost an exact copy of a pre-war Carl Zeiss Biotar German lens. In my opinion, out of the two lenses, the contrast, the color, and the sharpness I think is considerably better. And as I said before, this lens has 13 aperture blades and the bokeh is way more dramatic. So the Helios 44-2 is also a 58mm and f2. 
and this was a very popular lens. Over a million of these were made, and they were made cheaper because they were on an assembly line. And again, remember that this only has eight aperture blades, and the swirl is gonna be there, but it's not gonna be as dramatic as the original Helios 44 with 13 aperture blades. Both of these lenses accept a 48 millimeter filter for the front of them. So before I show you my images, just notice that when I shoot completely open at f2, close to my subject, the background is beautiful with a buttery soft bokeh. The original Helios 44 lenses gives you the most amazing swirly effect. I find that standing about 8 feet away from your subject gives you the right distance to get the perfect swirl effect. Here are the images of the early made Russian Helios 44 58mm f2.0 lens.